I'm going in. Front desk, this is Agent Gill. I'm inside the book. Go ahead, Agent. There's no sign of my card anywhere. Secret Agent 3 can be found on the next page. Ask him if he's seen your card. Got it. Agent 3? Agent Gill? Have you seen my library card anywhere in this book? Sorry, Agent Gill, I have not. Thanks anyway, Agent 3. Agent Gill, front desk. Go ahead, Agent. My library card is not inside secret agent stories. The next book is The Adventures of the Adventurous Knight. Excuse me, Sir Knight? Have you seen my library card? I'm afraid not, young sir. Have you seen it, Dragon? Oh dear, I'm so sorry, but I haven't seen it either. Thank you anyway. You're, You're quite, quite welcome. welcome. Library card not found. I repeat, library card not found. There's only one book left. The humongous Book of Dinosaurs. Uh-oh, I don't see a dinosaur shelf. I'm going to need your help. Where should I look for a dinosaur book? Right here! Here, right. Here it is! Come on, let's try the next page. I'm Gil. Well, I've been looking all over for you. Look what I found! My library card! Thank you! You're welcome! Mission accomplished! Welcome to the School Supply Superstore. We have everything you need for your school day. What can I get for you? Well, at my school, we have a routine. A roo who? A routine. You know, the things you do the same way every day. Okay, what do you do first in this routine of yours? Well, first, we have story time. Oh, story time. I have just the thing. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need a chicken for story time. Really? Well, let's see what else we have. How about one of these things? I need your help. At story time, will I write in a notepad, draw with crayons, or read a book? Read a book! That's right. I can pick my favorite book to read at story time. Right on. What happens next? The next part of our routine is lunchtime, so I need something to carry food in. Lunchtime? Yum! I have just the thing. You can carry your food in one of these. To carry my food, should I use pots, the lunchbox, or the kettle? Lunchbox! Right. I can use a lunchbox to carry my lunch. And a snack, too. What else is in your... Routine. The next thing we do is go outside for recess. Then you'll need to wear something to keep you warm in case it gets chilly. To stay warm during recess, should I wear the jacket, the smock, or the bathrobe? The jacket. That's right. I might need a jacket when we go outside for recess. Now, I'm going to put everything away in my cubby, so I'll know where it is when I need it. Very tidy. Hi, Gil. Hey, Molly. The end. 
What are you doing? I have to bring these books back to the library today. But I wanted to look at them one more time. Those are all library books? Uh-huh. I checked them out with my library card. Look! It's even got my name on it. G-I-L. Gil. Cool! But now it's time to say goodbye to the books. Uh-oh. The library's not open yet. How are you going to return the books? No problem, Molly. When the library is closed, you can return the books here, in the drop box. <sighs> Goodbye, the adventures of the adventurous night. Goodbye, the humongous book of dinosaurs. And this one, my favorite book of all, Secret Agent Stories. <laughs> I wish the library was open now so I could get some books, too. Yeah, there are so many awesome books in there, Molly. We'll come back later and check some out. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the big bad wolf will be played by... Dima! <laughs> okay, places, everyone. Oink, oink! It sure is a nice day to be a pig. You said it, sister. I sure hope the big bad wolf doesn't come. Now, Tima. Ow! Look out! It's the big bad wolf! The wolf! Little pig, little pig, let me in! Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin! Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down! Help me blow the house down. When I say blow, blow! Ready? Blow! <gasps> Eek! Run, little piggy! It worked! Let's do it again. Ready? Blow! Get them this time. <gasps> You'll never blow this house down, Big Bad Wolf. It's made of bricks. Frustration. Oh, well, I guess I'll go away and leave you piggies alone forever. <laughs> subjects were leaving the Kingdom of Roses forever. All right, everyone. Let's get out of here. Forward ho! 
I really wish we didn't have to leave. Me too. Hey, what's that? It's the dragon! And she's my friend. I want to find out why she was roaring. And it wasn't because she was mad or bad. It was because she had a thorn stuck in her nose. Oh! Those thorns can be sharp. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Agnes. It's okay. I know my roars can be a little surprising. <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> Hello. I'd like to check out a book, please. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. What can I help you find, friendly reader? I'd like a book about penguins, please. Oh, I like penguins. Let's see, penguins. Mm-hmm. The computer says that we do have a book about penguins. They're such nice-looking birds, aren't they? Does this look like a penguin book to you? No! No, <laughs> this book is about cows. Well, what do you know? I'm gonna need your help to find Gobi the book about penguins. Come on! First things first, is a penguin a person, a place, or an animal? An animal! Right, penguins are animals, so the penguin book will be here on the shelf with the animal books. My goodness, there are a lot of animal books here. But what kind of animal is a penguin? A dinosaur, a bird, or a fish? A bird! That's right! So the penguin book must be here in the bird section. Let's see, parrots, peacocks, um, aha! Penguins! Here you are, sir! A book about penguins! Library card, please! Thank you! Thank you! And thank you for your help! Here, Molly! Would you like to make a book together? Okay! If you write the story, I'll draw the pictures! The person who draws the pictures is called the illustrator! That's right! And the person who writes the story is called the author. What's your book going to be about, Dima? It's a book about me. I'm making the cover. That's the front of the book. What's your book about, Gil? Nothing. Aw, oh, what's the matter? I'm sad that I lost my library card. Don't worry. We can go back to the library and get you a new one later. All finished. The story of Dima. Written and illustrated by Dima. <laughs> if you're looking for adventure, pirates out at sea, robots from the future, or a T Rex running free. Oh, what a story that would be! Won't you share it with me? It isn't very hard. Yeah, you can do it when too. you've got.
I'm sorry to interrupt your friendship day party. But I... Friendship day? Oh, no, 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 no. This is an unfriendship day party. An unfriendship day party? Yes. Friendship day is not allowed in Wonderland. Oh, but I have a friendship day card for someone here. <gasps> Put that away before somebody sees it! Why? Because... The Queen of Hearts has spies everywhere. And if they see that card, the Queen's guards will take it away and throw it down to shoot. But I can't put it away. It's my job. I never fail to deliver the mail. Fine, I'll help you. Who's it for? Someone named Allison. Allison? In Wonderland? Never heard of her. Well, that's what the address is for. It helps me deliver the mail to people I don't know. Smart. But I don't know my way around Wonderland at all. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. What's that? It's a map. Wow, thank you. I need your help. This is a map of Wonderland. We need to find the neighborhood that Allison lives in. To do that, we need to check the zip code on the address. The zip code for Allison's neighborhood is 145. Which neighborhood matches zip code 145 on the address? This one, this one, or this one? That one! There! Yes, there's 145. Thanks for your help. To deliver the card, I need to go... Here. There? But that's the Hearts neighborhood, where the Queen of Hearts lives. Shouldn't go there. Oh, but... <gasps> Unless I drive you! Hop in! Buckle up, Buttercup, and let's go find Allison. <laughs> Una, look! A whole section on baby animals! I love baby animals! Look! Baby bunnies! Oh, baby hippos! Baby elephants! Baby dolphins! Oh, baby squids! And so, the brave sailors looked at book after book after book until... The end! Love books. The Cyclops! Oh no! We have to put these books back or he'll know we're here. Hurry! Wait a minute! Some of these books don't belong on this shelf. Uh-oh! We need your help. We have to find the books that don't belong on this shelf. This shelf is for books about people. Which one of these books doesn't belong here? This one! Right, this is a book about the sun. These other books are about people. Okay, what about this shelf? Which one of these books doesn't belong here? This one! Right, this book is about fruit. All the other books are about animals. Kitties, kitties, mm, kitties, kitties. Where's the kitty book? He's looking for that one. Ooh. Where's the kitty book? Enjoy! Kitties! Some kitties. Burrow? Who, me? 
borrow? Really? You can borrow my books anytime you want. You just gotta bring them back. Thank you! And so, the sailors and the Cyclops became good friends, and he let them borrow his books anytime they liked. Goodbye, Cyclops! Thank you for the books! We'll bring them back next week! <laughs> okay! What did you have? Nachos! With extra hot sauce. Boy caliente. Uh-huh. And now... <laughs> I can't stop breathing fire! <laughs> Don't worry, dragon. We can help you. And so the firefighting knights gave as much water as they could find to the fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> A lot of excitement for Molly, the ballerina who is playing the princess tonight. Yes, and she's been practicing very, very hard. Absolutely beautiful. Now what's happening? As you can see, it's nighttime now, and the prince and the princess are going to sleep, and the guards will stand guard. It looks like the guards have fallen asleep, too. Uh-oh. It looks like some space aliens have arrived on the scene. Let's see what happens. Oh, my 
goodness. Sad day in the kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. The space aliens have taken the crown. Tonight's performance is proudly sponsored by Snow Monkey brand ballet slippers. Ooh. Wow, there goes an alien. And there goes the prince. Down the sideline they go. It's a foot race, ladies and gentlemen. She pitches it back. There's the catch! She drops back to pass. There's the throw. And there's the leap! Incredible! He's going long to make the catch. And it's good! The princess has caught the crown, and the prince has caught the princess. And the crown is back on the princess's head. And it looks like the aliens are going home empty-handed tonight. What a happy ending to a great story. And a super ballet. Get up and dance with us. Come on, all you book lovers. Get up. We're going to get out our library books and turn the pages. Let's find a place where we can go and increase all the things we know. Snow Grace pictures and more to see. Shelter is a place that finds owners for puppies and kittens that need homes. Well, let's see if the fairy godmother's here. Hi, kids! Did you miss me? Ah! The witch! witch! No, wait! I'm not really a witch. I'm... <laughs> the fairy godmother. Wait, what? I was only pretending to be a witch so I could see how well you cared for this puppy and kitty. Oh, you see, this is my animal shelter. Read the sign. I've been looking for the right kind of owners for these two, and you two are very, very responsible. You gave them food and water. You let them rest when they were tired. And you kept them safe from a witch. Dink, dink. Ah! <laughs> so, how would you two like to become the new owners of this adorable puppy and precious kitty? <gasps> you mean it? We could take them home forever? Forever. Our wish really did come true, Gretel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. And so, by showing the fairy godmother how responsible they were, Hansel and Gretel's dream of having pets to love them their very own came true. <laughs> Welcome home, boy. You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.